Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to episode 21 of the Minecraft Underground Survival Series. Now today's episode is called Bees and Bedrooms because we need to focus on my bees and we need to focus on having my own bedroom. I'm currently living inside of the AFK fishing area. So since the last episode, what happened? Well, I got to go above ground. I also got you guys a download and we can talk a little bit about the bees now that people have actually seen that episode. We managed to grab a brand new bee nest and inside of it was three bees, three of them. Now these guys are currently pollinating. Probably would be good to have a small crop area down here. Uh, but it feels so good to actually have some bees. Now, there is a slight problem, and the problem is, guys, the bees don't come out unless I'm in here holding a flower. Now, you can hear them buzzing around very, 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 very faintly, but they don't seem to want to come out. Even if it's daytime, they don't want to come out. Now, bees, uh, if it's raining, bees won't come out. So, it could be that above ground, it's raining. They go inside their nests and the hives when it is raining. Also, at night time, they go inside their bees, uh, the nests and their hives as well. So what I kind of wanted to do is probably extend the room that way. I don't want to punch anything in here because if I punch a bee by mistake, I'm going to die. <laughs> they are vicious little creatures in this. So I want to take it back that way and someone's like, hey Echo, why don't you give the bees a tree? and then put like a nest or a hive on it. And I was like, that's actually a pretty good idea. And the thing around the bottom of the tree, I'm gonna put maybe some crops, more for aesthetic look than anything else. So we will come back to that, because that's the first thing I want to do today. But like I said, it's called bees and bedrooms. I've decided I wanna put a bedroom here. So we're gonna be cutting out this small section to about here, and we're gonna take it back, and I'm gonna be able to build my bedroom there. I have started to work on this, which is physically removing all of these and putting them in different chests. Now, we're starting to cram up a lot of space here, guys. We are. I'm so glad that we got ourselves some sand. And I actually have one more thing I need to show you that I started to work on. Uh, we go down there now and I'll show you guys. Uh, let's have a quick look at my map, though. Let's have a quick look at the map. So we have started to extend a little bit more. Uh, I managed to dig underground to that desert in preparation for today's episode because I didn't manage, this is just poor decisions by me, I didn't manage to get as much sand as I was hoping to get. We got a lot, but it really wasn't a lot considering we're going to need a lot and we got 10 more episodes to be underground before I'm allowed to go above ground. So every 10 episodes, we'll go above ground and every 10 episodes, you'll get a download. I need to, I need to figure out something to do with uh, cobblestone because we are hoarding cobblestone like no tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go to exactly where I need to go. The one thing I do wanna show you, and I'm hoping I can show you here, because these are all just strip mines. Although when it, co it comes to ores, it really wasn't the greatest of uh, mining expeditions. So what I've done from this point here is I've taken the wall back Four or five blocks, one, two, three, four, five blo blocks, just to separate that mine from a new one that we're gonna start. So if we speed run all the way over here, we're gonna be under the desert, right? So I decided let's just get this done for, for whenever I need to get myself some sand. So I managed to go to, I think it's level 50 to 55, which is okay, because in this series, I'm not allowed to go above level 64. Anything above level 64 is a no-go unless it's on a specific episode where we're allowed to go above ground. We have hit sandstone. So not only have we got sand, but we're also going to have sandstone. Now, we do need to be really careful in this area. Uh, I did already start to mine above. A little bit of sand fell in. But because I'm always unlucky, like, look at this, right? What are the chances? Where I live has the river going all the way through. I managed to mine to the exact point where the river also continues right here. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna go kind of in this direction a little bit. And I think I thought, oh yes, I did. I did. Um, guys, there's a, I'm not sure if I can find it here. There's a, a, a ravine down here. 
I nearly managed to kill myself by falling in it. We'll just fill this in. I'll put this here. It might be over here. Yeah, it's over here. There is a ravine right here. Um, I've been here briefly. There wasn't really anything down there because it doesn't go to Y level 12, 10, 11. There's nothing down there in terms of diamonds. But what we did manage to spot, I know there's a lot of iron here that I've not taken. I kind of saved it because I want to do a mining expedition episode again. I like doing those and some, some people seem to enjoy them. But we did manage to find a second mine shaft. And it is down here. It's in, it's in here somewhere. So we now got another mine shaft that we can explore. Not not entirely sure if it's the mine shaft, like a continuation. Hey, look, it's like it's like the first kind of raw mobs we found in such a long time. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey buddies. These guys have probably just been lurking in the dark for so long <laughs> because I've never been here before. Now there's a little bit of iron here, and I am kind of tempted to take it. I'm trying to save my iron now because I think on episode 30, that's going to be the episode that we end up fighting uh, the wither boss. But we'll take a couple of these. So, oh, okay. That's silk touch, right? Okay, okay. I don't really need to silk touch these because this is not a full-blown mining episode. I've got a bunch of coal ores back at home <laughs> that I've picked up, which is why my silk touch pick is kind of destroyed a little bit. We, we, yeah, I have a real bad habit of just mining ores with Silk Touch now and then doing doing it in episodes with you guys. So yeah, that's that's kind of what happened. Again, most of these things happen during live stream. So you guys don't really miss out. I'm not in desperate need of Hey, look at that. I'm not in desperate need of any more iron, guys. So because I'll end up wasting it all, right? So we will come back in the future whenever we need it. We know exactly where it is. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. We we found we found sand. All right, so let's go back, and I got something I really want to do today. So just as we are getting back, guys, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who has been supporting this series. I know it's not the most popular, but it is so much fun for me to make, and the support that I do get in the comment section is absolutely fantastic. You guys are so kind and enthusiastic about this series, and I really do appreciate it. Over 1,000 people in the first day downloaded the updated version, which is episode 20. I wish it was a lot easier for people to install it across all Bedrock platforms like Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. Maybe one day that is something that the developers can work towards. Right, so ores. Yes, like I said guys, I did do a mining expedition. I've managed to get myself a bunch of book other things, being tropical fish, being all of these cod as well. I want to make a fish tank and I think I'm going to put it inside of my bedroom. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that, that's what I'll do. Now, my method in terms of repairing things is I'm no longer using my XP farm as much. I'm just using books that I'm not going to use. I'm just using bows that I'm not going to use. And I'm just using fishing rods. So I did manage to empty the AFK Fisher. And this is the current status. <laughs> yes, we're running out of space. And even this, even this right here, we're running out of space I started the series with absolutely no option of food. Now we do whatever we want because it just does not stop. Even though I've emptied it all, they're still filtering out. This thing is absolutely insane. It just does not stop whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have a really, and even my eggs, everything's just full to the brim. I need to start being a little bit more productive with what I'm doing. I guess, I guess for now we could just put feathers inside of here. Because I got nowhere else. Nope, that's torches. I got nowhere else for anything to go. So yeah, the introduction to today's episode was definitely more of a little bit of a catch up of things that I have been doing and that I need to do. I want to put, I'm breaking and mending on my shield, so we're going to do that today. Uh, the likes of this we do not need and we do not need the rotten flesh as well. So yeah, getting into today's episode fully. Um, I've got, what did I want to show you guys? Where was it? We have a mending book over here. We might not have a spare mending book, but we have mending. We have sharpness five and looting three. They're on the same book. We have a breaking and knockback two. They're on the same book. And we have fire aspect two. So we've been making, I mean, I've got a smite sword and I think that's great, right? We've been using this. I prefer smite over on breaking at this moment, but 
I'm still, did we, did we make that? We're going to make a diamond sword and I'm still going to have a sharpness one. Smite for the undead. Sharpness is going to be like for killing the ender dragon and stuff like that. So if we put this inside of here and we go with the most expensive one to start off with. And then we put these on this. Sharpness, looting, unbreaking, and knockback. We then put that on there. Can we do this? 17 levels. So we need 17 levels. And the best way for me to do this, we'll try and get two birds with one stone here is we'll take this off because if you have your armor on, when you're gaining XP, it basically favors your armor, even if it's not, not repaired or not. So we're just going to fill my whole entire inventory here with these things. We do have a disenchanter, which is down below. I was going to put a fish tank down here, but then I thought, we're not down here enough. I was going to put it there, or at least one fish inside of there. We're not down here enough to appreciate that. So I'm going to hold this in my hand, and we're just going to disenchant large quantities of these just to repair my pick. It's so much faster than having to stand next to my XP farm and wait for them to drop and just like that. Please don't disenchant the wrong thing. And just like that, it's repaired a lot faster. There you go, it's actually fully repaired. We do exactly the same, but I'm not holding anything and we gain a lot of levels. Mending and really high levels of these are, are great. We need to just get rid of large quantities of these. Because they most certainly are not needed. Now, now I'm going to do the exact same again. Sticking to fishing rods, these seem to be a lot more common. And I've already got like an OP, I've already got like a really, really good one. So what I am going to do is I'll hold an arrow in my hand. This way it will favor the XP to my character or my, my skin, my player. And we'll gain a level. So I think it's said we need 17. This, we should have enough here. To gain the 17 levels. We might even get to like level 20 if we're lucky. See how fast that is? I mean, I've got nothing else holding me back in terms of not needing to repair these. Sorry, use them to gain XP. Now, I'm hoping and praying. What do we end up with? 23. I'm hoping and I'm praying that I did put my really good fishing rod in my main chest. Otherwise, I've just disenchanted it and we've wasted it. Yes, that's my really, really open. Breaking, look at the sea, let and mending. That's the holy grail. We don't have an unbreak, we do have an unbreaking three. So all I'm in need of now for this is we need a mending book. Okay. All right, well, let's do the last thing that we need to do and that's combine. That's smite with mending. Just like that, I've got the Holy Grail. The exact same as this, but this one is just sharpness. Which, again, is going to be useful at some point. Right, let's sort out a couple of things. Like getting this done. Um, we need a couple more levels. So I'm going to do that because I want to try and get the mending thing for my shield done now. Alright guys, so I've been doing a little bit of things. I've gained 26 levels. I just disenchanted so many Hard, actually, not even so many. I just disenchanted a bunch of things that I didn't need. Mainly fishing rods. Now, I need 18. You are a nice guy. How much can we trade with you? We needed 18 emeralds and a book to trade with... Who wants to trade? See, we need to find you. Is it you? We need a guy. You? 18? Are you the guy? Let's double check if you are the guy. You're the mending guy. We got the mending one. I need the mending because I want to make sure I've got mending and I'm breaking on everything. I think I also want to make sure because we're on hard difficulty, the weather is hard. I want to make sure I have backup armor at some point. Uh, we'll get rid of these, but we have this, which is going to go on my shield. And this is I'm breaking. There's nothing in here that I necessarily need. I don't want to use thorns. Protection could have been a good thing, but we can get protection another way. And breaking is very, very expensive, and I know this might seem like a waste. But to me, I think it's probably the right decision to do. It should just be unbreaking, and then last but not least, it should be mending. So we have unbreaking and mending, and just like that, we are looking fresh and ready to go. Okay, so I wasted a lot of your time today, guys. Uh, let's get on with today's actual mission, which is... Wait, wait. Which is actually working on... The B section. By the way, guys, I've got them and them as well. I think I've got a couple of things in the AFK Fisher as well. So the bedrooms, these next two things are what I want to do next. But I want to focus on the B section first. 
I don't mind sleeping with the fishes, literally, because we're sleeping in the AFK Fisher. Um, one change I had to make here. So these were down. I had to put dirt and then surround it by these things. It wouldn't grow. They wouldn't grow. I waited two hours. They would not grow. Which kind of sucks because I thought it was a really nice design. But I kind of like this one anyway. So there might be slightly, slight, slight difference in what you guys have in terms of download compared to this uh, at this moment. So I want to double this room. So that's one, two, three. Ooh. One. Let's try to do it from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I want to take this back another ten, right? So let's just say, sorry, Mr. Mr. Kitty Cat. Where's the best way for me to start this then? Probably from here. That's one. What am I classing as 10 though? Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, yeah. So it needs to go another 10, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Cause I'm just, I just wanna put a tree in there and yeah, I think it looks so much better. Let's just double check the coordinates on this one. So this is, this ends on 92. So if I go across to 92 from the back here, we should be okay. One, so we just gotta go 10. I'm probably gonna have to mine this one up a, hey, free iron. I mean, I'll take it. As you guys can see, my pickaxe is really good now. There's 91 and 92, so if I'm correct, this should, yes, that brings it out there. Th that was a small mine. Um, I'm going to keep that visible so we can still go there. This small section here, this slime chunk. Maybe I need to flatten that out a little bit and, and take advantage of it as well. So let's get on with mining this. I got to be really, really careful though because I cannot afford to hit one bee. Although I don't think they'll be interested in this section. They're not like other animals bees in this. They, they love flowers, and if you're in the way of their flowers, they're gonna sting you. And that's basically how it goes. So how high, how high is that one? See, I feel this needs to go a little bit higher. So one, two, three. Gravel. Of course. That's a little bit too high. How high can we mine with this, though? Ooh. Ooh. Stuff is vicious. I'll tell you one thing, it doesn't... It doesn't stop either. It's going to be all the way along, isn't it? What about this one? Then let me check. See, I think that's how high I'll go. To that one. First part of Colo is we're going to have to deal with a lot of gravel here. Oh, I nearly hit him. B, go to bed. I don't want to hit him. They're really... They, they, they do... No, no, yeah, it's too far for you, little bee friend. They are a little bit intrigued, actually. Maybe that's just all Minecraft mobs in general. Dude. See, if I extend this, I could add more flowers, and I could probably move hives and nests back a little bit further. Yeah, we are collecting stone, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're playing hide and seek with the bees. The best time to work on projects like bees are very similar to villagers. At night time, they're a pleasant they're, they're pleasant to deal with because you can work and get things done. In daytime, man, they are a completely different ball game. All right, well, we do not need this. Uh, see, I kept this open to have another access point down here. I honestly don't think, there's nothing down here for me. I say that like I fully explored it. I actually don't know. Ah, uh, we've definitely, I've definitely explored this. Well, clearly I haven't. So we'll take that and I think we can call it quits. I don't need to have too many access points. We can always access this another way. I, I remember taking a lot of wood from here. Maybe now that I haven't haven't been down here fully, because my my thing is to make sure I get rid of all the water sources when I have depth strider. And I'm still hearing some spooders too. Do I care enough? No, 
Okay, so it wasn't too bad. It was mainly the front side that was dominated by the gravel. I don't mind dealing with gravel now. I have a really good pick and a really good shovel, so we can sweep it up and shovel it up a lot easier these days. Um, my next go-to thing is I want to even out the ceiling, so we'll go into this one. I might even bring it down a bit. I don't think I'm going to need that much room. Uh, it's going to be a very similar design to that, but it's just not going to be linked. This, Yeah, they're just not going to be linked. I do need to make sure we keep breeding the, the bees, though, as much as possible. And I'm, I think we can name tag them as well. I think that's a good thing to do. We've already had a lot of things despawn in this. I've had cows despawn, villages despawn or die. And chows? Uh, chows. Combination of sheep and cows. We had a lot of things despawn. Yeah, so... Oh, last bit. That's... It's not too bad. Although it does look kind of messy. Now, before, instead of me going back with all of these right now, because I'm going to end up coming back with more, let me just... We'll get rid of this. I guess I'm probably going to keep this stone. Or if I do change it, I'll probably change it to stone brick. I just want to bring the... I just want to bring the ceiling and this all down to one level. This has been like this... Since I did this room. And then which which level are we go into? So we need to bring these to this level. I don't mind wasting some of these blocks because I literally don't have any purpose for them right now. Obviously, stone brick has been my go-to thing. Alright, how much have we got? Yeah, we got plenty here. So we move these and let's get the ceiling done. So we are gonna use stone brick with this, but let's let's be a little bit smarter this time, right? So this is all going to change. This whole back wall will be stone brick. We'll continue the same design on. Wherever I'm seeing... See, I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any under this side. I think we might get... Yeah, we get a little bit lucky with this one. But a lot of the blocks that we have on me, we can just convert into stone brick. And then we can get the walls done as well. So, um, the more I'm looking at that, though, the more I'm not liking it being stone. That kind of changes how it looks. Again, we're going to keep this one open. And just to make sure we do... Got two extra doors here. Uh, I guess we'll put that there still. And still put stone brick. I'll just have to take this back a little bit. I do not want to lose a slime chunk. I don't know when it's next. I'm, I'm next going to find one. And then the back wall as well. So we'll take this down. And we'll place down a bunch more torches. There's so many blocks here that I kind of need to pick up. I don't want to miss any stone. Kind of wastes... My silk touch then, doesn't it? Right, let's bring this one down as well. So the good thing is, guys, I basically used the blocks from this room to build this room. Saves me having to use any of the blocks that I've actually mined out previously. So, yeah, we've got the, the skeleton in this room. Th this has got to change, though. This has got to change. It's got to go stone brick. I'm just not liking it as stone. I've not used stone in this build. We use stone brick, so we'll change this. Get these ones in like this. I might not even like this. I'm very fussy with my builds. I end up breaking, placing, moving all the time. I guess that's like every Minecraft player, right? I, I try and take a, as much care as I can in my builds these days. Alright, so that's where we're at with that. Other thing that I need to do is... This is a gap of two. So it's a gap of two. That's where one's going to go. So I guess we can do this for now. Gap of two. One's going to go there. I don't think that's too much of a problem having one there. Or is that class as a gap or two? Or maybe we do one there and the gap or two there. Have a quick look. So if I if I have that there, and we do one here, gap of two, one, gap of two. I think that might work a little bit better. Still keeping the same design. Is that have I done a gap of two there or a gap of one? Gap of two, two, and two, 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 two. That one's slightly different though, isn't it? Because that's because there's a door there. So maybe we do have to move this over by one. This doesn't really make sense. How have I managed to confuse myself? That's a gap of three there. That would explain it. There is a three. That's because there's a door there. Hmm. Unless I start this as a separate room. Is that how I've got this? No, that one's there. And then that's that, so that's a gap of three. So I have to figure out something else to do there. Because this is even now. Let's take these out as well, because that's where... 
stone brick will go. So like that, like that. There, there, there. And I think that's about right, yeah. I'm so happy that I've used the blocks in this room to build this room. I don't feel like I'm out of pocket. All right, this is good, this is good. I think the bees are gonna love this. Right, we're gonna do the floor. Come back with some stone brick stairs, do the ceiling. Lanterns, and then we're gonna build a tree. It's the first time in a while that I've actually seen all the bees come out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bees. We have seven bees so far. Man, that makes me happy. We bred them as well. We start with three as well. It could all go wrong if I manage to hit one. So let's please not hit any of these guys. Dude, all right, let's go back anyway. We need, we need grass. See, this is my current problem. <laughs> I've got no space for anything at this moment. Let me show you guys. Cobblestone, andesite, diorite. The dirt's fine. Stone, cobblestone. It doesn't stop, man. I need to figure out, I need to find another place for these blocks. This is what's just taken up so much space. I guess for now, I'm just gonna have to put everything inside of here because I'm seriously running out of space. There is a dude that buys andesite, diorite, and granite. We need to try and find a guy who sells diorite. We need to sell that. I also managed to pick up, where's the redstone stuff? A couple of rails. That's, look how much iron's worth of rails we've got, and that's for completely free. When it comes to ores, we got another set of ores there. Uh, oh, I managed to pick up a flower as well. We'll take that down below. We don't need to be carrying our books either. They can go over here. So I didn't realize how long this is going to take. This is my next project. Like I said, bees bees and beds on my next project. It's, it's, it's raining. Down there, I kind of want to harvest their honey. I think I started to do that a little bit. Because I want to use some of these blocks. I want to use some of these in terms of decoration. I have a little bit of a plan in my in my head. I don't know if it's gonna pull off, but we'll see. Uh, we do not need door, but we quite possibly need a little bit more of this. 64 and 20, that might be enough. Uh, we need stone brick, stairs, that, and I guess we'll just make some more. I know I should've used the stone cutter, I'm an idiot, right? Well, not really, because I'm trying to make space for more blocks. We can always make more chests. I'm, I think a chest room is something else we need to work on as well. So, stairs and stairs. We're going to use slabs, so we're going to have to need to put some lighting system uh, lights in the, in, in the ceiling. I've only got... I've got eight. I'll take them, as well as taking these. But something tells me I'm... Something tells me lanterns might be an okay light source here, we'll see. I, I don't know how many I've got left. 11, that might be enough. So I am gonna be sneaky here. The bees, because it's raining outside, bees don't like rain. I hate doing this, I really, really hate doing this. I'm probably best off using hoppers, because I, just in case you guys don't know, in the next update for Java, they fixed where bees no longer get angry if you harvest stuff or move stuff. They're not as angry on Java. On this version, they're still not, Great, is, is the best way for me to explain this. We did manage to pick up still 15. That's gonna make a good few. Do I have a crafting? Yeah, it says we going all the way over there, right? Wait, can I make more? I made six. I think we're still gonna need more than six as well. I think we are. Yeah, they don't like rain. Let's get the lanterns in first. Oh, we, yeah, we, we're gonna need, we might need a couple more stone brick stairs for this. Because stone brick stairs, ten of these. Yeah, this might be enough actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's that's perfect. Let's get the floor in. Yeah, we need more. I tell you what, I'm so terrible when it comes to <laughs> judging. We're gonna need more of this as well. I guarantee you. I'm not gonna get it. Oh, man, I'm such a doofus sometimes. We'll get. I'm probably gonna need a. I think maybe half a stack more. Maybe not even that. Let's see how far this gets us. And then we do the ceiling. Although I'm not quite sure if this is dark or if it's or if it's too dark or if it needs a little bit more light in here. I can't put in the glowstone in the floor. I can't reach there. We'll have to get some dirt. I can't put 
it on the floor because we're using grass. But I know that these can shine through. So I'm trying to think of like just six little... Wait, how much have we got here? Let's just use these. I think I will use these. So if we go... Bring it into about there. And we do the same over here. So how many did I come in by then? One, two, and three. Do the same over here. One, two, and three. Even four might be okay in here, you know? Man, I'll tell you what, glowstone is something else we keep using large quantities of. Yeah, I think four will be in here. Leaves us with two. Although I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. We are gonna have to take a trip to the nether at some point, right? And last but not least, this one. Okay, well, again, saves me going back up and come back down. Let's just get the ceiling in as much as we possibly can. All right, so my thing to do now is to try and find the center of this one because that's where the tree is going to go. So I think the center is obviously gonna be along this one and I think it's gonna be about there. So we're cutting this room to about here, right? So that's one, two, three, four, and that's five. One, two, three, four, and five. That is the center. So my plan of action here was to put the tree in the middle there and to put these around the outside. However, we need two more. Uh, yeah, we need two more. Although, they, we should be able to get this hopefully done today. It all depends on if they want to come out and play. I can't make, how many more do I need for that? I need one more. That will make enough to get that done, so that's okay. So a tree will go in the middle. That will go right there. I kind of want the tree to grow as naturally as possible. See, that doesn't seem center. I don't think there is technically a center in this one, but I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we're gonna need a couple more hives. Again, we're gonna need more of this so I can make one hive. Because we'll put one over there and one over there. Unless I move them. But again, I don't want... I mean, we could silk touch them and move them back a little bit. Because you can't make nests. You cannot make a nest in this. And somebody also pointed out that what I need to do is to use barrels in here. Probably should have... That. Yeah, it's something I always forget to use in Minecraft is barrels. We only need one of these, right? So if we take one of these, I might even change. I might even move these two back a little bit. So we put that there and we silk touch you. Make sure they're not out and silk touch this. Can you silk touch this? Do I care enough? I don't think such works on these fireplaces. I don't think it's too much of a concern. What's the best thing to break it with? Nah, it doesn't work on it. Because what I'll do is it'll take away, otherwise it'll take away the appearance of the bees. So let's fill these in. And I've got two of these. I can't put them together, so I'm guessing there was bees inside of them. My, curious, my curiosity, right, is I want to put one say about here and then one about there so there's a gap of two but what I do want to do is I want to put fireplace and then I want to put see I don't know the best way to do this I'm trying to think because fireplace calms and down so I'm probably best off just using a fireplace what I was gonna do and what I was gonna say is I was gonna put posts like uh, yeah fences so let's go and grab a couple more fireplaces. I'm going to grab a few here, just in case I need them. So I've kind of thought of something. With these two, I can kind of have them dangling from the ceiling, but still have the fireplace coming from the floor, is, is what I'm basically thinking right now. Although, it just depends if we put that there. Is that the right one? That is the right one. i do it to about here. I can still put a fireplace underneath it. And I think that will still keep them calm. Rather than them getting rather than them still getting angry at me. Is that right? I think it's right, right? Let's make sure. Yes. So how far did I come with that one? So it's just three. And then this. There's still a reasonable height that I can still reach it. 
And then we've also got this as well. I feel like I need to move these back a little bit, but then it kind of takes away this room. The pro, maybe I should probably have them all dangling. I guess I'll leave it for the time being. This is also gonna change. We need two of those. We literally need two of those. Maybe I should also get some bone meal and grow that a little bit as well. Okay, so to make things look a little bit better here, what I'm gonna do is I just want this tree to be a small kind of tree. So we're gonna narrow it, we're gonna trim it down just a wee bit here. We'll get rid of the vines. In fact, I kind of like the vines, but we'll get rid of that one. And this is what we've got, right? How's that looking? Maybe I should get rid of this, 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 and that. How's that looking there? I mean, it looks like a really... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I hate messing around with trees in this game. Okay, so it's not great. It's not looking that great. Anyway, while we're here, my plan of action is to silk touch this and we're gonna put this right there. So it actually looks like a nest attached to a tree. Although maybe I feel, I feel like I should get rid of these a little bit and maybe bring those out a little bit more to a quick look at this tree. Do I have any vine? Do I have any shears on me? We do. I just grab these and raise you up a little bit like that. Like that. Now what I can do is I can still move this one and I can put this one, let's say there for now because I still want to be able to harvest what this is going to produce. Now all the vines there you go, the vines would have ruined that. Oh, that's fire. I'm really picky, I know. But we only need one more there now. And I really, 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 really kind of like this. But now we can get rid of this. And put the dirt down there. Because that way, it's still not taking away the attraction from the trees and stuff. I feel like we need to get a couple more leaves here though because I am not happy with that thing whatsoever. I think what it is is there's not that much... I don't even know what to say to be honest with you. I feel like it needs to be like this. There's not much space for me to work with when it comes to the trees. I don't really know what to say with this though. Really, I'm really terrible at this one thing in Minecraft I'm not good at. Actually, that's a lie, because I'm not good at many things. Eh, I think I can deal with this. We're gonna need two more. We're gonna need two more. Okay, we're nearly there. <laughs> otherwise I'll get sucked into this and I won't know. I think we need two. I won't like it, oh three will do. But this is way better now. The one there, one there. And I'm calling it quits with the trees. Right, plan of action now is to move flowers. We're gonna move flowers because... I'll keep the flowers at the back there so they can still travel across. As for the rest of them though, I, I still wanna move these around a little bit. So what, what flowers do we pick up there? We've got rose bushes, we'll keep them. Try and keep the big ones near the back. What else did we pick up then? Cornflowers? Some of these we ended up harvesting from above ground. There's another big one as well. So that can go there. We've got red and pink. Okay, let's get this done anyway. All right, guys. I think that's what we'll keep it like. Because I don't want to get rid of too many of them from over here. I kind of liked having the flowers there. Um, what I might do though, is I'm tempted to kind of lift these up and put them onto the ceiling. But for now, I think we'll go with this. I, I like it a lot. It's good. It's taken us a while to get there though. We just need that one last block. In fact, I literally need one. One, that's all I need. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Uh, we now have a better, a better bee sanctuary, I think. A more appealing one is probably the best way to explain it to you guys. But yeah, I hope you are enjoying the series. Hope you guys enjoyed the download. 
Sorry to say you won't get these kind of things until the next download, but go and enjoy the world yourself and go and do your own things. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye.